Hello, my Tata Tots. OMG, y'all, I am so happy to be on camera vlogging today. Majority of today's video is not gonna be filmed today, but we are gonna get it started. And please disregard my messy bed in the background. But y'all, like I said, I have so many errands to do today. I am so happy to say that we are finally going to be building my dream closet. OMG, I'm so excited. This has literally been a dream of mine and a goal of mine for years. Literally since I was yay high. And please disregard my nails, y'all. I gotta give my nails a break before my birthday. They are so damaged, so torn up, and I need to give them time to heal. But yes, I said all that to say I have a bunch of errands to run. Actually, I was supposed to be doing something completely different today, but my schedule got kind of throwed. But it's all right, we're gonna stay productive, continue getting things done. I'm kind of just gonna swap what I have planned for today and tomorrow. But today, like I said, we have a bunch of store runs to do. A lot of them are not gonna be included in this vlog because that's not what the video is about. But one of them being Target, I have to go pick up my shelves. I did an order order pickup because I'm not no I'm not carrying all them shelves I ordered like five of the bookshelves I'm gonna do that viral target closet hack a lot of you may have seen that before if not you're gonna see it today but yeah I placed the order pickup for five of the bookshelves I'm gonna go pick them up today I actually have to go to a target that is 40 minutes away from my house because none of the targets by my house had that many in stock if they had any but yeah y'all we gotta go to target and i actually have to go to a different target after i do my order pickup so that i could pick up these rods to put at you know the bottom of some of the shelves because that's what i'm saying i don't know what's going on with target lately but not one store had everything i needed at once and yeah let's get the day started Oh, they look good like this. What? The shelves. The other one ain't there. I mean, with that mirror. I'm about to. So you could put that one here. Kind of like same amount of distance, but just even out in here. I love them. Oh my goodness. I didn't even show y'all all the stuff that I ordered for them, but I got a new perfume tower. What's this? Oh, I got this little decorative hand that I'm gonna sit on like one of my cute shells and I'm gonna put like some rings on it. Probably those gold stackable rings I got and I could sit this on a gold shelf, that'd be cute. These are some of those boot forms. When I put my tall boots at the bottom, they can stay up in place. I got so many here. I'm gonna sit this here for now. These are some of those uh, purse stands. Y'all gonna see it when I open it. I got some sunglass towers. I got all kind of stuff, y'all. This is like those, those little jewelry stands. And I got like some of those necklace mannequin suit, y'all. This is about to be so nice. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Y'all, this is the final outcome. When I say I absolutely love my shelves, OMG. This literally took all day long. This was actually like a two day process because we started on the shelves last night. And y'all, I could not be more satisfied. I just kind of played around with everything until I got everything to my liking. And I'm gonna give y'all an up close tour. At the top, I just have some of my designer boxes, my Dolce & Gabbana, Brandon Blackwood, Prada, Teddy Blake. I just set those up top. I thought those were a nice touch. Over here, I have some assorted black clothes. I didn't want to overdo it because I want like a minimalist look and it's a small space. So obviously I didn't do too much here. And then I just put this decorative camera that used to be on my Ikea shelves. I just moved it over here. I just felt like this space needed something to fill it. Moving down and y'all please do not mind my shadows. I have some of my silver necklaces, my Pandora, Tiffany, Gucci, and I got these little jewelry mannequins from Amazon. All of my Amazon purchases that I use for this closet will be in my storefront. I just put a decorative Chanel box, my Chanel mirror. Moving downward, I made this like a blue and silver shelf. I just put two Tiffany boxes, my silver diesel bag, and this silver pair of heels that I got from, what do they say? Primark. And then down here, I just have two of my knee high boots. I have my gold pair, my silver pair. Originally, I wanted to put a third pair here, but I felt like these two did the shelf justice in themselves. Over here, I just did a whole shelf of heels. I wanna say, how many did I add? Nine to this one unit. And again, I bought five of the bookshelves from Target and the shelves on them are adjustable. So I kind of customized them to my liking instead of putting the standard five on each one. But yeah, I kind of just color coordinated them. Started with black, blue, green, pink, gold, two rows of nude, two rows of brown. And I'm still debating if this is the order I'm gonna keep them in. But as of right now, I like it. Moving over, I just did kind of like a decorative shelf here. I put those pink Rose Forever flowers, which by the way, Rose Forever, if y'all are watching, please feel free to send me a new batch. I got these back in like 2020. I put my Chan Chanel perfume bottle, which is empty. <laughs> But of course, I'm going to keep it for decoration. Then I put my small bubblegum pink Telfar. Moving down, I put another one of those rods and I just filled it with some assorted black tops. Underneath that, I put my sunglass tower in my pink Brandon Blackwood bag. Originally, I bought two of these little cases or organizers rather, but I decided to just use one. And then underneath that, I just have four shelves on this one. I put some of my pink boots. Originally, I was going to do two, that one and this one, both tall boots, but then I decided that this was the layout that I liked a little bit better. Up here, I knew that this is how I wanted to do this shelf before I even got them up. I don't know why, but I just hatched the idea as I was decluttering. I'm like, these two together would be so cute on a shelf by themselves. And I decided to fill these two right away. I just have my khaki and my olive green Marc Jacobs tote bags. Underneath that, I just have this sex bag and a bouquet of flowers not a bouquet but a floral arrangement <laughs> underneath that i have this chanel shopping bag and my new perfume tower this is just an acrylic perfume tower with three layers that i got from amazon again all of these things will be linked in my storefront and i just used up all of my pink bottles of perfume just because obviously those go the best with this entire layout and from this y'all can get a little feel of my perfume collection and let me know if y'all will want any type of updated perfume video or anything like that because i do have way more than what is being shown here and underneath this one this is the end of our fourth unit and I just have some jeans here. I did four pair of jeans and kind of organized them how I wanted them. Not organized, but put them in the order I wanted them in. I did the same thing over here on the bottom of the fifth unit. At the top of the fifth unit, I did this vase of beige color pompous. This pompous used to sit on my vanity. However, I moved it over here because I felt like it filled the space very nicely. I put another one of those purse holders up and put up my red Teddy Blake bag. 
and this Saint Laurent box that this purse actually came in. And I decided for this small little narrow shelf to just give my favorite and first <laughs> YSL bag its own little area. This was a narrow little shelf that I actually had some other plans for, but I decided to style it this way. Underneath that, I have this whole shelf of jewelry, gold jewelry specifically. I put another one of these necklace type of mannequins and put my gold tennis chain on there. I have this black bracelet organizer where I put my gold bracelets gold tennis chain gold assorted bracelets things like that again this is that decorative hand i was showing y'all earlier and i just put the gold stackable rings on there like i envisioned and then just as decoration i put my gold lv hoops down there and that is how everything came together and then as y'all know the couch used to be over here i moved it over here it might look like it's in the doorway but i just had to move it for a second so i could close the doors i moved this picture above the sofa it didn't used to be there my vanity is still on this wall i actually just swapped the two pictures this one used to be there and vice versa i swapped those two over here on my vanity i just put my makeup brushes and i put this floral arrangement that used to be on my ikea shelves over here i have this champagne toast room spray and this champagne toast hand sanitizer just for when i sit down and do my makeup i always be needing hand sanitizer and these two just look nice as decoration together and they fill the space pretty nicely and y'all this gold and white organizer that used to sit in this corner I don't know if y'all were ever able to tell, but it used to sit over here. I moved it over here, so when you first walk in, but it's still out the way. I just wanted this space over here to be clear, which I'll get to in a second. But yes, this is where I used to house all my jewelry. I still have some jewelry in here. I have extra makeup wipes, all of my flat irons, things like that. Just things that I want out of sight, out of mind, but I still want in my filming room. And then over here, like I said, I moved the mirror over into this corner. This corner used to have, like I said, that organizer and my hamper. I have enough space in my closet now to put the hamper, so that was perfect. This is really dark, y'all, my bad, but the light is over there. I really wanted these two chests to be out of sight, out of mind. I just store a bunch of things in there, but they're kind of heavy and I didn't feel comfortable stacking them like on top of the wire racks in my closet. So whenever I do wanna take a picture or video or anything in this mirror, I'll just slide these out the way. And then over here on this last wall, I still have my vase of pink pompous. I still have the same picture up here that I've had literally since I moved in. <laughs> I still have my clothing rack up. I thought about taking this down and just bringing it out when I need it. But I guess I'm going to keep it here. I don't think it looks bad or anything, especially once I take the clothes off of it. Right now I have a lookbook plan that I need to film later this week. So these are the outfits for that. And then down here, I just have some of my packing supplies for when I pack and ship my orders. I do wanna find a better way to store these things. I really need a separate office space, but this is good for now. But yeah, y'all, that is all for this video. That is my new updated Target closet. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me put this all together and bring my vision to life. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell if you haven't already so you never miss when I upload new videos. Thank you guys once again for watching and I will see y'all in my next one.